Hello everyone, thank you for clicking this video. It's such an honor to be presenting our research result today. Before of that, let me introduce myself and my partner. My name is Teresa Tania Tamsil and my partner is Jesslyn Laurencia. We are from Trinita Senior High School, Bandung. In this presentation, we will be talking about our research with the title, Utilization of Starch from Red Iking Rice Waste in Making Biodegradable Plastic. The first section is the preface. The first section is the preface and here we wrote some background for this research. We try to make it short and summarize it in this framework of thinking. So here's our framework of thinking and let's continue to the other section. Formulation of the problem. First, can the starch content in leftover rice or rice aking be used as a base for making biodegradable plastics? Second, what are the materials that can be used in making this biodegradable plastic? Third, how is this biodegradable plastic made? Fourth, what is the final result of biodegradable plastics? Can it be degraded by the environment properly? If so, how long will it take? This research was conducted at home, November 2020 at 5 a.m. until 8 a.m. by drying under the sun next day. Then, the next section, tools and materials. 1. Regular filter. 2. Sunlight. 3. Measuring glass. 4. Spoon. Big and small one. 5. Stove. 6. Pot. 7. Flat mold. 8. Gram scales. 9. Mass tool. For the materials, 1. Aking red rice. 2. Glycerol. 3. Tapioca flour. 4. Acetic acid. 5. Water. So the procedure. A. Rarefaction of the red aking rice. First, take the rice waste from the nearest place around the house, then clean it from the other food waste. Second, air dry the aking rice under the sunlight about a day to remove the water content inside the rice. Third, after it dry and hard, mix the aking rice by the mast tool. Fourth, sieve the aking rice powder with the filter. Fifth, sieve until it becomes 15 grams of aking rice powder. B, the making of 3% acetic acid from vinegar. First, Prepare the vinegar with the 25% glacial acetic acid. Second, pour the vinegar to the measuring glass until it becomes 6.25 ml. Third, mix the vinegar with the 43.75 ml of water to make 3% acetic acid liquid. A must-have comparison is one vinegar equal with seven water. Fourth, Stir it up slowly about two minutes in the acetic acid liquid until it turns into a homogeneous liquid. C. The making of biodegradable plastic. First, take 15 grams of aking rice powder and rake it on the gram scales. Second, put in the aking rice powder in the pot. Third, dissolve the 3% acetic acid with the 10 grams of aking rice powder. Fourth, stir the acetic acid liquid with the aking rice powder until it turns into homogeneous. Fifth, put in 10 grams tapioca flour into the aking rice powder butter. Six, stir it until it turns into homogeneous and a little bit thickened. Seven, if it's already done, add eight milliliter glycerol into, into the butter. Eight, stir it up and reduce the heat so it doesn't too hot. Nine, prepare the mold. The mold is the flat one. Ten, after that, turn off the heat and pour the biodegradable plastic batter into the mold. Eleven, flatten down the batter with the existing tool like the spoon or the metal roller. 12. After that, put the mold under the sun in the daytime, and in the nighttime, put it in the room temperature. 13. After about a day of resting, the batter must be dry and ready to use as a biodegradable plastic and getting analyzed. So the sixth section is the analysis of red aking rice biodegradable plastic. So the first one is pencil strength test and elongation. We have the formulation. So the formulation is the length after um, placing the load minus length at first, multiple by 100% divided by length at first. So you just need to input the number and we got the result that is 3%. B, by degradation test, we've done two tests. The first one is soluble in the water and the other one is degraded in the soil. For solubility, we, has, we have the procedure that the first, cut the plastic to a certain size, make three pieces. The second, prepare three glasses of 250 millimeter volume. Third, Glass 1 filled with cold water, glass 2 filled with room temperature water, glass 3 filled with warm or hot water. Record the temperature with a thermometer of all the waters. The 4. 
Ultimately, put a certain size of the plastic in one glass and stir to make sure the time it takes for the plastic to dissolve completely. Fifth, and so on until the third glass. Sixth, after stirring for 30 minutes and leaving it at room temperature for 12 hours, it was found that in hot water, this biodegradable plastic will dissolve faster. So here's the graphic from the biodegradable plastic solubility. We can see that the hot water dissolves faster than the other one. The second one is for the composites in the soil. We have the procedure. The first, provide three types of soil. The first one is compost soil, yard soil, and sand soil. The second, cut the plastic with a certain size into three pieces. The third, put each one on the ground, can be heaped for one multiple by 24 hours or one day. Four, after a day, check the plastic in the pot, check the texture and mix it in the soil. Fifth, after checking it, was found that the plastic in the compost soil is easier to decompose because in terms of the texture between the compost soil and the plastic, it is similar. So here is the graphic from the test we've done. You can, you can see the compost soil is, is um, degraded better than the other one. So the next section, result and discussion. The existence of waste and plastic waste that is fair piling up makes a place look dirty or shabby. The plastic that contaminates it is made of a synthetic polymer which is different from biodegradable plastic. Biodegradable plastics as a solution are plastic that can be degraded by the environment because they are made from natural polymers. Biodegradable plastics can be made using basic ingredients that contain starch, such as carbohydrate foods, namely aking rice or leftover rice. The high starch content in red aking rice can be used as a base for making biodegradable plastic. The use of glycerol as a plasticizer, acetic acid as a solvent, and tapioca flour as a soluble thickener makes plastic dissolves. The manufacture of biodegradable plastics is in accordance with the procedures we made based on the appropriate tools and materials. Compared to, the, to other studies, the manufacture of biodegradable plastics made from rice aking or leftover rice has advantage namely that it can be degraded by the environment, dissolves in water in a relatively, relatively short time, and can be degraded in the soil. In addition, the use of red acting rice also makes our study different from previous studies. Faster solubility in our research results because the ingredients used are not difficult or water insoluble materials such as cytosan. This biodegradable plastic made from rice acting has a size 10 multiple by 10 suitable when the dog is printed of the mold. The results of the analysis are tensile strength test and elongation 3% and biodegradation test. The resulting biodegradable plastic can be degraded by the environment, can be dissolved in water as long as 30 minutes and leaving it at room temperature for 12 hours with the hot water as the best media for solubility and can decompose in the soil for a day with the compost soil as the best decompose in the soil. Okay. We're gonna continue to the eighth section. It's the conclusion. So the conclusion we got from this um, test is the first, biodegradable plastic can be made using basic ingredient that contains starch, such as carbohydrate foods, namely aking rice or leftover rice. The starch content in rice aking can be used in making biodegradable plastics with the addition of glycerol as a plasticizer, acetic acid from a mixture of vinegar and water as solvent in the dough, and tapioca flour as the thickener for the dough. The second, there are three stages in making this biodegradable plastic, namely um, rarefaction of the red acting rice, the making of 3% acetic acid from vinegar, and the making of biodegradable plastic. The third, the use of water soluble and natural material is an option to so that the plastic produce can be degraded by the environment. Then choose a base material with a high starch content so that it doesn't fail during the printing process. The fourth, Analysis of the resulting plastic, tensile strength test and elongation, 3%, solubil solubility, the best biodegradable plastic sol solubility is in, the the, is in the hot water or 70 degrees, the compost is in soil, the best biodegradable plastics to compost in the soil is in the compost soil. This is the ninth one, a suggestion. At the stage of making biodegradable plastic, preferable, when pouring the dough into the mold, flatten the dough perfectly so that the resulting plastic has an even color and is not difficult to remove from the mold. In addition, the selection of basic ingredients with high starch content is necessary so as not to fail during the starch extraction process, 
recommend that you don't use too much tapioca flour so that the resulting elongation rate is higher. And here are a few references that we use to do this research. To do this research. Um, uh, so it's been a great time to presenting our result here. Thank you very much for your attention. May all those we have shared be beneficial for all of us. Don't forget to like and share our video. Also drop your comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.